Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Magnum Research Baby Desert Eagle 3 and 45 ACP. This is the semi-compact model. It has a 3.85 inch barrel and an all-steel frame. Now with the 45, they are available with the all-steel frame and it soaks up the recoil like none other. I took it to the range, shot it outstanding. A very accurate, very smooth shooting gun and I am familiar with the Baby Desert Eagle 3 because I also have the 9mm model. Also with an all steel frame. Now this is available with a polymer frame or steel frame and this is the full size with a 4.43 inch barrel. Here we have a 3.85 inch barrel. So those are the sizes that you are looking at with the Baby Desert Eagle threes I, I love this gun i featured it i shoot it very well and i found the same characteristics when shooting with the 45 acp with this semi-compact model the msrp on this is 691 however i go up and down gun broker it's selling for right or on average about around 580 dollars and i i love it i think it's outstanding now it does come with two 10 round magazines and we'll go ahead and show clear here and it also has polymer grips, okay? It's got some stippling there with the back strap. Some on the front, not as aggressive. Uh, 1913 Picatinny rail right there. Three dot sights, all metal sights, and a safety decocker. So what this does is it decocks the gun and renders the trigger useless. One of the things I, I like, though, is for those that are looking to carry the gun, they can carry in half cock so you don't have the full double action trigger pull you go right there and then of course the gun would go into single action and you're looking at a pull just like that very smooth trigger and the, the follow-up shots are very quick and of course you can always carry in double action if you choose extended beaver tail there and it's got some weight behind it there's no question about that and it, it just soaks up that 45 ACP like nothing. I've got a range review coming. Had a great time with this gun but let's go ahead and get it on the scale and then we'll take a look at the internals. The unloaded weight, here we have an unloaded magazine. The unloaded weight is two pounds, six and three eighths ounces. If we move that just two ounces, we're looking at 38 and a quarter ounces. But here we have 10 rounds, target loads, 45 ACP. And this gun is weighing in at 45 and three quarters ounces. So you can see it definitely is, is heavy. No doubt about it. Let's go ahead and disassemble the gun. I think you'll like... The, the way Magnum Research did this. We'll just take these two markings on the slide and the frame, align them, use the help of the, the bottom of the magazine to pull out the pin, and then off comes the slide from the frame. There's that big heavy, heavy steel frame. It has a dual recoil spring, uncaptured. There are actually two recoil springs in there and an all steel guide rod. And here is your stainless steel barrel, 3.85 inches. Just like that. You may notice that it has locking lugs on the barrel and on the top of the inner slide. What that does is keep everything nice and tight when in place. And, and it does. I mean, this gun shoots tight. It, it, it performs tight. It disassembles and reassembles. Kind of tight at first. It loosens up over time. It does have full length frame rails all right once again keeping it nice and tight and we'll just go ahead and align those markings once again and push that pin through and you are good to go i have to tell you guys i love the gun i, I love the magnum research baby desert eagle they say it's modeled after the cz 75 and people say it's a copy and i would agree that it is a copy but it also has the the magnum research Kind of features to it the, the the cuts in the slide kind of make it a magnum research all in of itself it has low bore axis making it very smooth easy to control and manage those shots on target i, I think it's a winner here 
and I'm so happy to have it. Look forward to a range review forthcoming. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.